Hello everyone, this is Mega Amster, and welcome to another unboxing video for this channel. Uh, one of the last few, if you didn't watch my channel update, it's, I still have it up. I'm going to leave it up there for a little while. But, uh, anyways, last time, unboxing number 28, we did, we unboxed the Dreamcast memory card. Uh, the green one, I think it was. Yeah, the green one. Works well. Played a few games with it. Stores them fine. Nothing's corrupted yet, which is great. Um, but... Yeah, uh, never mind that. We're focusing on this thing we're going to unbox. This is unbox number 29. If I didn't say already, I probably did, but I don't remember because I'm tired. And yeah, so as you can see, it's kind of like a tubular thing. What could it be? Who knows? Let's unbox it and find out. So here we go. Um, I'm going to get scissors for this, aren't I? Look at this. Oh, wait. No, I ripped it. Nice. Here's the thing, is recently I've been watching some of my older unboxing videos, and I've noticed that, at least recently, I've started to lose that, that feel, like that energy that I had in the old ones. Except I would go like mentally like insane in the older ones, so I don't want to go to that level, but like, okay, this is, I need the scissors. Like, I don't want to go to that level, but I don't want to sound like I'm just dull like this, and just, what's up guys? Like, I don't want to sound like that. I mean, great, I'm not going to be making videos for much longer. But still, ah, is that gonna help? Right. That should help. I think I took the tape off. Should be able to pop it open now. Um, now you probably already know what kind of item this is. Come on. There we go. But you might not know what exactly it is. Let's see. There we go. Hello. Yes, I am Gotham's Reckoning. <laughs> Shout out to my old videos. <laughs> They're not up anymore. But, yeah. Um, you might not know what exactly this is. Um, well, you could probably tell it's a poster of some kind. But you don't know what poster exactly it is. But we're going to find out in just a few short moments. I'm going to be really mad if this is not what poster I ordered. But so far on the inside, it looks like it. See, it's black on the inside. So it should be the one I ordered. Ugh, come on. This is really awkward to unbox in front of the camera because it's a long tube. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh... Family friendly, what does that mean? Yep, okay, we're good. It's all good. Uh, this is going to be hard to show. Let me see. I'm going to try moving the camera, like the tripod, to actually physically back a bit. And we're going to try to... There's my arm. Whoa. Actually, I don't know if you can... Oh, some paper in there. Hold on. Dear favorite customer... Th oh, shut up. Okay. Uh, this is going to be hard to actually show on the camera. Well, let's see if I can do it. Uh, there you go. That's as best as I can do. This is a Guns N' Roses poster. Yeah, holy crap, it's huge. This better be the same size as the other poster up there. Um, yeah. I'm a pretty big Guns N' Roses fan. My favorite kind of music... I'll back up the camera a bit more. My favorite kind of music is uh, rock and roll, actually. And Guns N' Roses is one of my favorite bands. And, yeah. I was going to get the Appetite for Destruction album poster, but I figured I kind of like this one a little better, at least in terms of the design. I mean, I like the Appetite for Destruction album uh, art. Don't get me wrong, but at least with this, I thought this was better. Um, I used to have a t-shirt like this, actually. I had the... Guns N' Roses logo with the, the dual pistols and the uh, roses actually wrapped around them like this. Uh, but that shirt doesn't fit anymore, unfortunately. Um, I don't really have a lot of band t-shirts anymore. I should get more. But yeah, this is the poster. It's, uh, as you can see, I'm going to try to curl this over. It's like a solid black background, but then you have the Guns N' Roses logo right there. I'm not going to get like copyright check for this, right? It's not music. It's just a poster of music. <laughs> That should be fine. I think. If I do, who gives a crap? Because I'm not making money off this video anyways. Because I don't monetize these, because these are for fun. But yeah, oh, this is so awkward to hold. But as you can see, that's just... It, that's all it is. It's just the solid black with the Guns N' Roses logo. Um, what I'm going to do to make this easier is... I'm going to go actually hang it up. You guys just sit tight. I'm not going to edit, because editing is for chumps. And, uh, yeah. Let me tie... You guys sit there looking at a blue wall. You can see the banner there. 
just to sit there while I put these up. How's life? Uh, hope you all had a happy 4th of July. If, if you live in America. If you don't live in America, what are you doing? No, I'm just kidding, you're smart. <laughs> but no. Uh, ooh, it's like the exact same size. Nice. Nice, this is going to be good. Where do I want to put it though? That's good, that's good. I gotta, see, here's the thing, I gotta make sure it's straight. Who knows if you guys can hear me from there. Oh, crap, what's it, oh, there it is. I'm using thumbtacks to put this thing on, so that's the best I got. <laughs> I don't like using tape, because tape completely takes the paint off the walls. But, I mean, thumbtacks, granted, put small holes in the walls, but it's better than you know, ripping a bunch of tape up. Plus then if you try to take the poster down, you really can't because then you ruin the poster by taking the tape off. So that's why I'm using these thumbtack things. There's no way that's exact, but you know, I don't care. It's good enough. Okay. Now here's another problem I have rolling up the posters is that they completely curl. They curl at the bottom especially, so like I don't know how to uncurl it without folding the poster and the material this is made of it's easy to get dents and folds in these posters because they're just so flimsy of material I don't want you guys waiting much longer oh crap maybe be nice real nice <laughs> nice real nice oh, god damn stop okay let me see I don't want to just Freaking ruin this thing. Sorry, I make you guys wait. I don't. I don't want to put thumbtacks in the bottom though, because that's just stupid. But it's gonna curl up if I don't. How did I get the other one to work? See, I don't remember. I can. Ugh, oh, sucks. making it worse. Hold on guys. Just a little longer. If this doesn't work, I'm probably going to give up. Son of a... Come on. How's that? Oh, it just looks folded up though. Okay, you don't screw it. Screw it. Uh, man. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take this off the tripod and we're gonna go on a little journey. Woo! Okay. There we go. That's on the wall now. Uh, I already screwed it. See, I'm. Here's the problem. I don't know how to make it not curl up because if you look at look look at how look how bad it is. If you look on the wall, look at that. That's what I hate about when you curl up posters. Like, obviously, that's the best way to store them. Curl them up, roll them up, put them in the tube, but like, then they come out like this and it's like, ugh, I don't want to put, I don't want to put more holes in the wall on the bottom, there's no need to do that. Okay, so here's the thing, so here's the Guns N' Roses one, it's the one I just unboxed. Here's my Led Zeppelin one. I, somehow I got it to not curl up, maybe it just uncurls over time, but, I don't know, plus I kind of folded up already, yeah, great. Yeah, well, um... Yeah, that's uh, those are the Guns N' Roses and Led Zeppelin posters side by side. And then over here, here was what was originally going to be unboxing number 29. This is the Steve Miller Band poster I just got not too long ago. Um, I actually really like this one. It might be my favorite. Um, I do like Led Zeppelin more. Led Zeppelin's my favorite band. Probably like Guns N' Roses more, honestly, too. But I do like Steve Miller Band. But the material this is made of, it's not your normal poster material like these two. It's it's not shiny at all either, but it's like such a good. This cost me a lot of money. This cost me almost twenty bucks with shipping. I imported it from like Jordan or something like that. I don't. I just wanted the poster, but it's such a cool material. And I love it, and it doesn't really curl up that much. I mean, the end is kind of curling up there, but it really doesn't, and it doesn't fold or bend that much, and it just it looks great. This is a really good one to transport. If I wanted to bring this to my dorm at school next year. It would be so much easier to bring this one than these two. 
because these are already curled and dented and everything. This one's already dented from uh, from my school. Actually, if you want to know the truth, this is the second copy of this poster I had because the first one, just trying to move it onto the wall, completely ripped and like teared and it just uh, it was awful. So I ordered another one of these Mothership Led Zeppelin posters, and this one's at least in better condition. Ugh, this one, oh, I gotta fix that fold. But yeah, Ugh, great. Now it looks awful. Stupid fold in the bottom. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the unboxing. I just wanted to show you guys the poster on the wall. Um, I guess the Appetite of Destruction one would have maybe would have fit better, but oh well. This fold though, it's like, yeah, that was me. That was a bad idea. Um. I guess I'm just going to let it sit, and hopefully it'll uncurl over time. That fold is really noticeable, isn't it? Jeez. Should I do the thumbtacks? Uh, I really want to do the thumbtacks, but I don't. I don't know how I got that one to stay so well. Maybe I'll do the thumbtacks later on the bottom, but I don't want to put more holes in the wall. That's the thing. But, you know, oh well. Um... Either way, that's the unboxing of the Guns N' Roses poster. It's great. I've got like some of my favorite bands just lined up right along here. Um, and yeah, I've been meaning to do this for a while. Cause I had I just got the, I got the Led Zeppelin one, the original Mothership Zeppelin poster I had about a year ago. Brought it to school, and then I ordered that one. Came in a few weeks ago, and now this one just came in today, and I unboxed it for you guys. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing. Um, I've got one more planned for August. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's going to be the last unboxing, so take a guess. We're going to end it the way we started, or sort of, sort of started. And I've got the Sonic Mania playthrough, which I want to do next month. But actually, it's, it's like a month from now, pretty much, right before we go back to school, and that's what we're going to end the channel on. So I've got one more unboxing, and we've got the Sonic Mania playthrough. Really excited to do those. Um, the unboxing will be early August, I think. So, wait a few weeks, and there should be one up. But that's it, guys. Thank you again. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the final unboxing. Um, Guns N' Roses for life.